Sawyer, you were hungry. Good morning, everybody. And this is just gonna be a day in the life video. And we're here in Oak Ridge, Oregon for something called the bus fair that's this weekend. But this video will be edited and uploaded, ready to go by Sunday before the event. So it's just gonna be the next few days, us just hanging out here. And we're super excited because it's beautiful. It's chilly, just the way we like it. There's mountains around us, but me and Jima, are gonna head to the coffee shop and just get some emails done and we're gonna take you with us. Oh yeah. It's just one of those moments where I'm glad that we got the car. So we're gonna take that and zoom into town. I got a haircut. Huh? And it looks great. Vitamins and I love history it. books. Psychology in a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken If suffering's a way to earn your keep I better start putting miles on my I'm so tired. We travel full time. Love it. Now I'm hanging out here downtown, walking around. Our Patreons actually get postcards from us. That's one of the tiers that we have. So I'm just now heading, I mean, these are Idaho postcards, which is funny because I'm mailing them from Oregon. Whatever. Anyway, so we're here at the post office. I'm gonna go inside, mail these off, and then head to the hardware store. And then we're gonna go to back to the bus fair. Success! Mailed out the postcards. Now we're gonna head to the hardware store to pick up what we need. Maybe some handles for the nanny bus. Mom got a new plant for her bus. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. And it's real. I'm trying to convince her to get rid of those fake ones and get all... 
new ones. New ones, the live ones that you have to like water and keep safe and stuff. Now it'll be up to him to make sure they stay alive. Well, really, Emily, she's the plant keeper. I want. I like to say that I know how to do that, but I, I don't. I don't. All right, they did not have what we need, so we were just told that there's a thrift store down the street that actually has a bunch of these knobs. Well, Bridge Business Center, it's gotta be here somewhere. Ah, here we go. There we go. Oh, it's big. Ooh, that was. <laughs> On the road again, like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. Look at there's more buses. Parkway. Motor vehicles prohibited. And guess what we're doing? You're prohibiting. I'm prohibiting the heck out of this. <laughs> Hey guys! So Emily went to the thrift store with Rayla from the Broken Compass bus and then me, Sawyer, and Juno, we're gonna go to the river that's right behind us here and fill this bucket up and then we're gonna put it inside of our Berkey so that we have some drinking water. These Berkeys are awesome because they're just, the filters are so strong, you can just take river water and pour it in there and it'll filter it out and you can drink that. So that's what we're gonna go do, you guys ready? Let's go put it in our Berkey. All right. Just like that. We'll let that filter. We'll have some drinking water. Awesome. So great. <laughs> Alright, Sawyer and Juno. We just walking around saying hi to all the people. We got Jima. Hello. <laughs> you hey, guys, get off my lawn, you creepers. get off my lawn. Weirdos. You guys know this guy. You guys ready to have some yogurt? Okay, go sit at the table.
So we're working on trying to get this bus started because the batteries died. This is not our bus, this is someone else's bus, but we're using the anchors to power this battery back to charge. That goes on after, yeah. You know, I have one of those like that's uh, so much fun. I love this. Is my favorite part. Like hey, I, I call, I'm like Scott. I, I want to give you a hug right now. I'm not Scott. Don't call me Scott. That's weird. <laughs> no, that's part of it. That's part of his love language. Now he has to call you Scott. <laughs> New love language just developed. I like being called Scott. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are doing a tiny home tour today. So everybody's arriving today, I think. But Tiny Home Tours has a channel on YouTube that has multiple videos of so many different tours. We've done one with them in the past, but we've upgraded our bus so much since that time. And so they reached out and they said, hey, your bus is kind of different now. We should do another tour. So that's happening today in like half an hour. So we're like hightailing it to clean up. Good morning. Good morning. How's the nanny bus doing today? It's perfect. Yes? I love it. Were you cozy last night? I was. Great. I gotta poop. Oh. Let me introduce you guys to Brian. He's super famous, so you probably already know who he is. All right. But he's doing our tour this morning, and he's gonna, you know, we're making it look nice just for you. If it was anybody else doing our tour, we wouldn't care. <laughs> but, so. Well, hey, thank you. Doing our tiny home tour right now. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest sunset I've ever seen. And this is the first time we've been on the bus deck together. No, we've played up here like- I mean, besides the music, but just to sit up here, like, this is amazing. Rayla! Sorry, we're going to the, I usually close oh, the- Co-creative director, like, good for that yeah. As, yeah. He, as he's walking yeah. down the sidewalk yeah. and the dark car goes over and you just see the taillight. was working on putting in the batteries and I had to break my countertop just to get to my batteries because how I did it was stupid and wrong, whatever, la la. And so I put them in and now we have a thousand amp hours of batteries, which was great, but we had a broken countertop, which was sad. However, Chris from the Sundance bus um, literally fixed it. Like it doesn't even look like it was, like this was cut in half right here. You can't even tell, can you? Nope, because Chris is amazing. And he also put in lights for my mom's bus. So now when you go in, you flick the light switch, he rerouted the original bus lights to a light switch and to our solar and... That's what he did? Oh. <laughs> and he also looks like Mel Gibson. So anyway, make sure you follow Sundance Bus what? because it's amazing. Their bus is incredible. They're incredible. And I'm not gonna ask them for any more things so that we could just be friends. Well, we just wanted to give a huge shout out to Anchor, our sponsor for this week's video. Before we had solar in this bus, we're gonna show you all the things that we use our Anchor for um, to showcase all the things that you can do if you don't have solar or batteries in your schoolie. Let's go check it out and see what this thing can do. So right now, this Anchor is currently at 21%, and even only being at 21%, we're gonna show you all the things that um, can charge with this thing. So first, we're gonna start with this wonderful fridge. We're gonna push on our button here. This turns the anchor on. And we're gonna plug in our fridge. Right now it's showing 497 watts. 
it now is just resting and there's not really, it's not really drawing anything. So it's not a consistent draw, which is really awesome. So this anchor could make this fridge run for multiple days. Let's keep adding things to the anchor and seeing how much we can draw at one time. Right over here is actually the AC and we're gonna plug the AC to the anchor and see what the, if the anchor can pull the fridge and the AC at the same time. All right, so we have the AC plugged in. We're gonna turn it on. We're running the AC and the fridge at the same time, and there's no issues. The AC hasn't fully kicked on yet, so that's why it's only drawing 61 watts. And in a few seconds, it's gonna kick on. It's probably gonna draw about 400 watts. Right now, we're drawing 1450 watts between the fridge and the AC. And this thing is still making them both go, which is amazing. Now we're gonna unplug it, and we're gonna try the coffee maker next because everybody likes drinking coffee. And if you can't drink coffee, then everyone has a bad day. You have a bad day, we have a bad day. Let's see what the anchor can do. All right, so our nannies like to drink coffee. That's really important. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if the anchor can pull the power that this coffee maker draws. Now this is not your typical like off-grid coffee maker. So this is a house coffee maker. And sometimes you wanna use the stuff that you use in like a normal house and you don't wanna maybe downgrade into using something that's a little more off-grid friendly. So we're gonna see if this anchor can hold that kind of a power. We're gonna put our, what is this, a key rag or something? All right, so we're gonna turn this thing on. And now it's gonna heat up and let's see what this thing draws. I'm gonna put my coffee mug under here. Oh, coffee. We're currently now at 19%. Yeah, so far it's seeing like this thing can run everything in this entire bus. Next, we're gonna try the TV. Um, some ways that you can uh, charge this thing is plugging it into an outlet, um, and that only takes about an hour to charge from 0% to 80%, which is so awesome. Another way that you can charge these things is by using solar panels. Anchor sells these awesome solar panels that you just hook right into this, set them out into the sun, and that charges it too if you don't have a place to plug in. Because again, we're using this for off-grid reasons. If we had shore power to plug into, we probably would plug into shore power. Um, but if you don't want to draw for the house that you're staying at, or maybe you're not at an RV park, that's why the anchor comes into play and really takes away that issue. You can become the perfect house guest because you don't have to draw their power. We're gonna close this bad boy up. We're gonna push this setting. All right, let's see what we got going on, guys. Look at that. This is drawing 1,402 watts, which is a lot. But again, you're only drawing that much while you're making coffee. So this is not something that's running continually. You can actually run this on 19% for 0.2 hours. And that's it, it's done drawing power. So now this anchor at 19%, if you just kind of left it there, would last for 13 hours before you should probably start charging it again. We're able to run our fridge, we're able to run the AC, we're able to run the coffee maker, and now we're gonna sit, drink our coffee, and watch a little show because we can. So now you can sit in this cozy little area drink some coffee oh, wow, wow, wow. and watch your show. And uh, let's see how much power this TV is drawing. 25 watts. So on 19%, we can watch this for six hours and 30 minutes, which is so crazy and so awesome. And that's a low. So if this thing is at 100%, I mean, you can have this thing going all day. Our nannies also love to be warm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in this heater. We have a 750 watt option and a 1500 watt option. We're gonna use the 750 watt option because this bus is so small, 1500 would just heat this place up like a burning furnace. I'm gonna plug this in. We're at 750 watts, and that is pretty much exactly what we're drawing, 740 watts here. We can go for 0.4 hours on 18%. That is pretty awesome, and it's nice and toasty. You got heat, you got AC, you got a fridge, you got a TV, you got a coffee maker. We're living pretty bougie because of this Anchor. So again, I wanna thank this week's sponsor, Anchor, for sponsoring this video, for being so awesome, for coming out with this incredible product that really has changed our life being off-grid. We're able to use this thing for our live shows in which you've seen in previous videos, and we're able to convert rigs and things like that by using all the power tools. And so when we're working outside, we don't have power out there. We love our Anchor, it's been great. Thanks everybody for watching and for hanging out with us. Again, thank you Anchor for sponsoring this video. 
and in this bus in this bus yes so make sure you follow and subscribe for more because we want to see you again i mean we, we don't want you just to come by and hang out and then just never come back we want to see you we get lonely we do Good morning, I'm just going to tell you we're talking on the West. Go round and round, round and round, round and round.